Hey you guys, how the fuck are you? Trust that you guys are doing fucking epic. It's your brother Paul, <clears throat> aka Peter Pan, aka the handsome sex god. And um, I hope that you guys are taking massive action, massive action, man. Massive action, massive motivation. So, um, we're in a different room again, okay? It's like using different rooms. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Today we're going to talk about the power of taking action. In regards to... We talk about action a lot. In regards to small action. The power of small action, okay? The power of small, easy action, okay? Guys... Now we're going to talk about this in the context of happiness because that's kind of why we're doing this stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of why. So anyways, um, small, easy action is very underrated, very underrated. Um, and sometimes goes, it goes unnoticed, okay? So I'll give you some examples and I'll tell you how it helps, okay? So, um, yesterday I took action, right? Um, <coughs> for some people that may not see how it's powerful, like, um, it was decent sized action. So <laughs> on, on like, I think Fridays and Saturdays, that's when I take massive action, massive action because the bars are open and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, but I, I guess it depends on who you're relating it to again, because like I am gymming, I am reading my affirmations and stuff like that. But when I say taking massive action, I mean like going out and fucking, because it's in re regards to my path, which is like social circle, stuff like that. And uh, game, kicks, boobs, vagina, um, muscle mass, uh, and my own big dick enlarging, because I sometimes do jolking when I jack off. But um, that's besides the fucking point. Um... But so, okay, when you start implementing small, easy action, it's going to help you build momentum so that you can take massive action. And those moments when you take massive action, you see these huge, quick uh, boosts of results, like this quick splurge of a result. Like, oh my God, wow, this chick asked me for my phone number. Or like, um, depending on what level you're at, because like, look, I'm not... I'm not um, like, oh, I gotta have sex, or I gotta fucking, oh my god, like I gotta fucking do this, which is okay, like, I think that that's okay, there's a lot of girls that are in that position, bless their souls, but it's, I think it's more positive for them, um, in the sense of like, it's okay for them to feel those emotions, <laughs> it depends on your perspective, <laughs> but any fucking way, um, look, it happens to lots of different people, not just guys, it happens to chicks too, they also like, get really fucking horny, um, and guys too, but we're kind of known for that, not really known for that, but any fucking way, I'm going on a tangent, so, when I'm doing this gaming stuff, it's from a perspective of growing, right, it's an art, it's not just, I'm not just trying to get the result, like, the result is fucking awesome, like I said previously, the result is the icing on the cake, right, guys, um, but the main base of it is becoming happier, having a path, having a mission, making friends with people, the... Um, the process of making girls attracted to you. That is something that I love doing, okay? That's something I enjoy doing. I love becoming more and more of an attractive man, okay? So, you see, the end result is like, it's not, I'm not just trying to have sex. Like, I'm not just trying to call, I'm not just trying to like call a girl and then like, yo, come fucking suck my dick. Like, that's cool and all. But the main thing is the whole process of it. Um, I'm not opposed to calling, but anyway, fuck it, dude. I'm staying on topic, getting better at this. I'm not gonna expect myself to be perfect. I'm gonna take action. This is action, okay, guys. Practicing what I preach, okay. So here we go. Um. So back to taking action, okay. So for me, right, what I did yesterday, right, was I walked. I walked to different places in town, right, like. Um, I went to this mall, right? So I walked to the mall and all the way while I'm going there, I'm like being present, I'm feeling my feet. So I'm looking down here, my feet touching the ground, feeling the breath uh, going through my nostrils, 
hearing the sounds, being aware. And whenever I do this, this gets me like into my body, like more into my body, gets me more present and um, I'm thinking way less and I'm way more self-loving, way more self-accepting, way more self, way more, way more loving and accepting of others too. And I just connect with people easily. I'm way more confident, way more free, way more expressive. Things just go way better when I do that, okay? The presence thing. So that's what I was doing while I was walking to the mall, okay? So by the time I got to the mall, even before that, like I'm already like, you you understand, I'm building social momentum. Now this is the action I'm take, I've am i been taking that I took yesterday that I'm sharing with you guys now. Um, this was more like small to medium sized action, okay? Um, in regards to like a daily type of thing, okay? So I took that action, went there to the mall, chatted with a bunch of people, all the good stuff, built up social momentum. By the time I came back home, dude, fucking flowing, speaking with these people, speaking with those people, speaking with these people, okay? Um, Traction from chicks, like I said, pretty standard from a bunch of chicks. Um, oh, some white girls were also interested in me driving past. This is like, it is like hilarious. It is like, <laughs> someone else might look at that action, right? That I took yesterday. And they might say like, hmm, you know, like, dude, that's like small. Like, why do you even bother to go outside? Why do you even bother? Like, that's just small. Like, why would you, why do you even bother to go out there to the mall and just like walk. You didn't really approach any girls, you didn't do and this and do that and do this. Um, but then they might just stay inside the house, for example, right? And then not do that. Like, yo, why didn't you just... Blah, blah, blah. Now, the thing is this, right? That's the underrating of that small action taking or medium-sized action taking, okay? Because that stuff adds up that stuff adds up big time okay that stuff adds up big time okay um like today i'm way more in social momentum like longer term long there's like short term social momentum there's medium term social momentum and there's long term social momentum that's my mind. uh so over your like the years that's like long term right medium term is maybe over like the months or whatever and then like short term is like the day, the very day, okay? So I'm building, adding to all of those by taking this action, that small action, because it all adds up. Every day that you do that stuff, it adds up. You learn something new. You, um, Even if you don't learn something consciously, inside of you guys, there's something subconsciously that you kind of, you get a feel for it. If you have an open mindset and you've got some path that you're heading towards, affirmations that you're reading of the kind of person that you want to be more like, okay? Um, Today, I'm going to take action again. My mom and I are going to visit some people. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm going to share with you a message, a text message I got from my brother um, about he spent a weekend with me and we went out to the bars. We went out socializing together and he's like, yo, he was telling me, dude, thank you so much. This, spending this week with you has been so fucking beneficial, all that stuff. Dude, I, I was reading it in the lounge. I was like, <laughs> you'll, see the, you'll see the emoji that I said to him. It was like a, a smiling teardrop emoji. Doing this stuff is really good, guys, because your focus, okay? You want to be concentrating your focus throughout the day towards your vision, okay? Because this doesn't only help you in the short term, like in the now you're feeling good. It doesn't just do that. It helps you in the short term, the medium term, and the long term in all different kinds of aspects. Your physical, literal physical health, right, of your body, your, your mental health, right, your clarity, all that good stuff, how you feel about yourself, okay? And then what's the other thing? Spiritual. What does that mean, spiritual health? I don't know. Like your soul, like I think maybe that's like fulfillment. It helps you in that department too, okay? <laughs> it makes you more fulfilled because you're adding value to others. Um, there's a whole lot of different things. And I've mentioned it in the previous video. I'm pointing to my crotch. <laughs> I mentioned it in the previous video how uh, a bunch of ways in which it benefits you, okay? In other videos as well, like how to be happier and healthier via purpose, okay? You can check out that video as well if you want to. Uh, talk about flow state and things like that. Um, so yeah, guys, now when I, when I walk past the girl or whatever, I'm way more comfortable, like in the zone. Okay. Because of that action that I took when I, when I'm there and I feel totally comfortable, like speaking to her, sometimes I feel totally comfortable. Other times it just feels more natural. Okay. More natural. Um, because of the action I've been taking because of my perspective on it. And you see, um, it's also about your personal beliefs because you can <laughs> I 
I saw this dude walking by. He was just looking at a girl's ass, and I was like watching him. He was just like all the way walking fast, looking, looking, looking. Then he turned away. Continued. I was like, ah, I've done that too. It's okay, bro. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Anyways, but for the most part, focused on the path. Okay, focused on the path. Yeah. By the time, guys. So basically, the small action taking right. Monday, taking that action. And then build it up as you as you get more. And it goes from small, you become more comfortable. It's like lifting weights, right? It's like gymming. So you become more comfortable. Like Monday, you take some small action. Tuesday, you make the action just a little bit bigger, right? Then Wednesday, just a little bit more. And then Thursday, you can keep it the same if you want to. Friday. Then when Friday comes, right, you've got all that momentum. You're like rolling on that because you're seeing the small results coming there and you want to the thing is this right guys you want to pay attention to the small results the small results don't wait don't look for oh, oh i don't have a harem yet oh my god like where's the fucking harem i'm supposed to have 12 japanese girls wearing fucking uh neko mimi ears and shit like that sucking on my d like bro fucking chill okay Yes, you can get there. You can get there way faster than what a lot of people think is possible. Way faster than probably what you think is possible, even. Okay? Truth be told, you could probably get there today. But... <laughs> okay, that's a different story. But, um, but that is definitely possible. But what we're looking at now is... When you look at the small incremental improvements in yourself, not in the outside world. Fuck looking at the outside world. Look within, okay? <laughs> look within, so hippie-ish. Look within yourself and what you'll notice is like, okay, previously, I, and you've got your, your, your mind set on growth, okay, on improvement. Previously, I, wow, previously I wasn't able to like speak louder and project louder. But now, because I've been practicing while going into, into actions, in, my, in the background of my mind, I kind of had my intent on like getting a louder voice, being more, uh, projecting more, right? It's an example. And now it's like, okay, now after this interaction, like now I've actually expanded my vocal projection like look at these fucking look at these measurements that i'm showing you guys this is like a day's improvement a day's improvement imagine this over a month consistently going out right small act small easy action every day for a month with the intent of growth and improvement and enjoying the journey okay enjoying it because it's fun find ways to have fun with it right um whatever sense of you're taking action i'm talking in the sense of social like i said so um but yeah, so by the time Friday comes, you've got this fucking momentum from all of that. And you've got you've got a long term for like <laughs> for next year, you're going to have grown fucking grown. OK, then you've got medium, which is like by next month, you're going to have fucking grown. OK, and you're going to have that momentum. So you're going to be the balls kept rolling, right? The snowball is getting bigger. That snowball effect, right? Um, or just the rock rolling. Uh, oh, fuck it. Anyways. So <laughs> and then the small term, small immediate momentum, small to momentum. That's like that day-to-day -day momentum. So then with that day-to-day -day momentum, it's going to be fucking, you're going to just have that fucking, arr, you know what I'm saying? So but when Friday comes, you go to the bar or to the club or whatever, and you just start speaking with the first person you see, the, the bouncer, the bartender, the whatever, the people there. So it doesn't matter whether they're skinny, whether they're fat, whether they're fucking, whether it's girl, whether it's guy, it doesn't matter, right? Just stop, speak with people. And it doesn't, you don't need to be awesome and gamey and fucking witty. And Jason has a video on this, it's fucking awesome. You don't have to be like fucking William Shakespeare of game, right? <laughs> it just brings to mind Russell Brand. <laughs> Bless his soul. Um, but anyway, you don't have to be like sparkling and shit. You can just be chill, relaxed. You're just warming up, it's cool. You're just chatting with people, sharing good vibes, just being friendly, just being chill. After like three groups of people, like, dude, then you're in the zone, okay? Way more in the zone after like 20 or 15 minutes or something like that. Um, just like on that Friday night, okay? And you don't even have to have Ben doing all that stuff for you to get into the zone within that Friday night by doing those three groups. But because you were doing that, you're going to have way more momentum and experience and focus and your Arius is going to be tuned to a lot of good stuff, um, depending on if you tuned your Arius prior to that. Arius just means reticular activation system. It's like basically um, something to do with your focus, and your awareness. Okay, so you can, if you've watched RSD, you've probably heard that term before. Uh, other psychology things. I don't know if Joseph Rodriguez mentioned it, but some a lot of people have mentioned it. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Yeah, so then when you're in that bar or whatever, or that club, 
I'm going to talk more about bars because that's where I have have my experience and more experience in. I've just started more recently going to bars. I'm doing pretty fucking good for myself, okay? I mean, I'm just going to keep on getting better, okay? So the first time I went, the first day I went, it was very quietish. Like I went there with my bro, very quietish and all. Um, that was on the Friday, right? But we just stepped out of our comfort zone. We took action. We went there. It was fairly quiet. It was just him and I. And then there was this hippie girl, like, giving me, like, the eyes and, like, checking me out and stuff like that. Um, I was just sitting there with my bro. But anyway, attraction. She was white, too. Was, I don't know. Why? Why do these with me and these white girls? I just love it when white girls are attracted to me. I don't know, man. I fucking... It's, ex- it's kind of exotic to me, ironically, right? It's exotic in my eyes. For me. So, anyways, that happened, like, the first day, right? And the second day, um, but then we didn't really socialize. It wasn't like amazing or anything like that. It was just like, and then on our way back, we're like debriefing. Like, okay, yeah, what can we learn from this experience? Yeah, we're learning, we're growing. We're, we're looking at that small progress. We're like, yes, yes, dude, small progress. Dude, awesome, awesome, awesome. You keep getting small progress. What do you get? If you keep getting small mounds of like cherries and stuff, I'm using fruit analogies again, or experience, over a month, what does that do, bro? Over a couple of days, what does that do? medium experience, big experience, okay? That's why I am where I am right now because I kept on with that positive attitude of taking that what's-his-name stuff and learning because you're not just going to always just get those small, small experiences or things of knowledge or whatever. But at times, you're going to get medium. Sometimes, you're going to get big, like all at once. And you're like, oh, yes, fuck yes. I learned so much. I grew so much. Just had a raw egg, no. Um, I watched the shot before I have it. (laughs) <laughs> so guys I wanted to add this point in um, I am where I am now because of those times when I took that action took that small action, took that big action took that medium action but I wasn't always taking action, that's the thing right, I wasn't always taking action, um, I wasn't even always taking small action, that's the thing um, so had I been consistently like taking small action I would have been way fucking further than where I am right now, like, bang, leagues, leagues fucking ahead of where I am already right now, okay, um, but I've already made huge progress by the times that I did, like, I betted on myself, I believed in myself, and then I did things that a lot of people wouldn't do, okay, that was out of a lot of people's comfort zone, and it was out of my comfort zone, for sure, um, but I did fucking did it, and I grew, okay, and then I found ways that are easier ways of evolving, much easier ways of evolving, and I started doing more of those. And uh, more recently, I've been more consistent with it. More recently, I've been more consistent with it. And uh, that's why I'm growing faster now, okay? Um, but I just wanted to add this in there, that I haven't been taking consistent small action or consistent medium action or consistent massive action. I haven't been taking that my whole life. I haven't, like, it's not, I haven't been consistent my whole life, okay? Um, there were just like bursts throughout my life in certain periods or certain times. I'm like, okay, I'll take action here. Maybe a month or something. Then I'll do something else. Then I'll take action here a couple of days. Something else. Take action here. Whatever. Something else. But like now it's like, okay, I'm getting, like as I started taking like that sporadic action, like just like here a little bit, like not consecutively. Um, eventually, and I've been like more and more passionate about game and things like that and social circle and this momentum and things like that. I've been becoming more, I've been intensifying the action taking and I've been more focused on it and I've been putting my focus onto it more, modifying my affirmations more, like investing in this more. So my action has become day, my action's at the point where it's day to day now, okay? So I'm, can, you can expect me to grow way fucking faster than ever before, okay? Towards my goals and my vision being been more fucking awesome, okay? So I just wanted to add that in there, guys. Had I been taking uh, more action all the time consistently, it would have been fucking leagues ahead. But fuck it, man. I grew um, and I'm going to take fucking enormous action now I'm consistently every day. Uh, even if I'm taking that small action, like I'm going to be doing it every day, okay? Um, in some way, shape, or form, okay? So, yeah, I just want to add that in there. You guys continue with the video. <laughs> Massive action. But by stepping out of our comfort zone, we increased our comfort zone, okay? We strengthened it, okay? Um, so we did that because the bar was like out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Even though I do like, I'm pretty in my comfort zone going to like youth events, um, things like that. 
um, church events, things like that. just social stuff, gatherings, family gatherings, things like that, friend gatherings. Like I'm more or less in my comfort zone there. Um, but like the bar was something that was like two steps out of my comfort zone. Okay. So then on Saturday, right, the improvement was much better, much better. We brought a buddy with as well. We're talking with him, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I took that other action that I spoke to you guys about of the momentum, right? Where I was taking action throughout the day where I would go out, go to the shop, speak to this person, speak to this person. By the time the night came, because that's what I did in the afternoon. By the time evening came, we went to the bar. Bro, I started speaking with this person, speaking with that person. <laughs> that's my, <laughs> my motto. I'm speaking with this person, with that person. So, and I think, yeah, then there was this group and there was like, I'm not going to mention names, but there were a bunch of girls giving me the names in this group. And then I introduced and I'm like being a social connector. I'm thinking fun, playful energy. I think a bit of challenging in there, but mostly self-amusement and like laughing and I'm the center of attention and stuff. And um, they're like curious about me, things like that. And um, I'm like introducing, I'm like, yo, okay, it's my brother, blah, 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 meet this girl. Because they just went to the bar, right? They just went to get like some drinks. I was there by the balcony. So it was just the two of us, three of us, my brother, Brahm and I, right? Are we just chilling there? Um, and then they're like, okay, we're going to go to the bar. I'm like, okay, cool. You guys go. I'll chill here. Because I know there's going to be, um, it'll be better if I'm here. I just felt that. So I was chilling there, whatever. Somehow, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if the girl reached out to me or whatever. I was just like greeting people and shit like that, being social. And then like the one girl, she like comes to me and she like, she reaches out arms. She's pretty cute. She's pretty attractive, uh, white girl. Um, she like shakes, shakes my hand. She's like, reach out, shakes my hand. And I'm like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Start talking with everyone, blah, 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 laughing, blah, 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 blah. Um, tele joking about telepathic hugs or teleporting hugs or something like that. And like buzzing from a distance. Um, we're like laughing and shit, connecting with everyone. And then when they come back, uh, my brother and my buddy come back. It's like, uh, it's actually my dad's buddy, but like we're buddies too. So then he comes back. Um, and I'm like, yo, introduce my brother to the girls, introduce him to the girls. And they're like, yo, dude, awesome. How did this happen? Like, to all these girls introducing us. I'm like, yeah, dude, and like, I'm, I'm laughing and I'm remembering the names. Like, okay, your name, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I'm so fucking good at this. And they're just like laughing. It's hilarious. So anyways, that was the second night, guys. The second night. See how much huge growth it was. From crickets. Okay, there was one cute hippie girl. I think she had a decent ass. I think she had a good ass. She had like a flower in her hair and stuff. It's pretty cool. I think she wanted a bad boy boyfriend. She could probably just see the way I was dressed. Like I was dressed like a fucking badass bad boy. It's fucking dope. So kind of am. Anyway. Toot my own horn. Pat myself in the back. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> so, um. See the difference from the quiet crickets there? Or some attraction from the hippie chick. To some attraction from the hippie chick. To a whole group of chicks being mesmerized by me and the whole social circle there and me introducing my buddies and just looking like the fucking man because I am the fucking man because I chose to be the fucking man okay and introducing everyone and connecting everyone okay being the connector okay such huge growth within such a small time why why because of that small action that I kept on taking Okay, that small, easy, fun action throughout the day. I went to the shops. Blah, blah, blah. There's things that people wouldn't pay attention to. Like, oh, dude, why are you doing that? Like, what's the point? Blah, 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 blah. This, you really think? Blah, blah, blah. Gives a fuck. <laughs> Erase. Fuck that noise. Okay, fuck that noise. You raise that shit. Okay, and all of that condensed became massive action. Massive action. You know, even actually, all that small, easy action with that stepping a little bit out of the comfort zone and stuff that piled up to create big results for that day, like good results for that day. Um, so there, there, the next day, you get what I'm saying? Um, and then Sunday was cool too. Sunday was pretty cool too. It was a bit of growth as well. Uh, it wasn't as big as Saturday's growth, but it was still some growth. Okay. When we went out to a different bar. So, uh, Socializing was cool. I was just being charming, playful, all that stuff. So guys, you see the power of taking that small, easy action, okay? Growth. So then the next time when I went to the bar, the next week, um, which was this recent Saturday, which I mentioned in the previous video, I spoke about the blonde chick and the group and everything, making so many jokes. I was just fucking in my element, okay? In my element, like getting more and more into my element, but like fucking in the zone, okay? Um, 
chatting, blah, blah, just being amazing. Girls looking over, girls hearing me, like, making a joke. Like, um, the one dude was like, yeah, fuck this, fuck that, fuck this. Like, in the conversation we were talking. He's like, yeah, we should be good people, blah, blah, And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, amen, amen. And he's like, fuck this, fuck this. I'm like, yeah, amen, amen. And this girl, like, from the other side, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> we're on the balcony and this redhead chick she's like with another group she like turns around she looks at me she's like smiles and she goes back she heard me like saying amen it's like hilarious whenever i say like something funny like oh that's one of the things that i love about game by the way guys there's so many deep levels to this stuff where you can attract a girl without even talking to her you can like create attraction just by talking with the dude next to you and she overhears the conversation because like her back can be facing you but if you're just being fucking awesome she's eavesdropping like she might not even be able to help it because like when something's really mesmerizing it's like okay wow this is just drawing my attention or <laughs> you might even just be paying attention like wait 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 why not this is interesting um so yeah like i remember with the one group the girl that went reached out and shook my hand I was there with the dude and how do I know this stuff? How do I know this stuff, right? Because I didn't listen to other people's beliefs of what's possible and what's not possible. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm gonna decide for myself what's possible, whatever I want to be possible. So by taking action, these actions and stuff, these underrated actions, okay? Small, easy, okay? It doesn't have to be, ooh, it doesn't have to be hard. Fuck that shit, okay? It can be easy and small, but consistent, right? Or just even easy and small. It's better than nothing, okay? Um, Way fucking better than nothing. Like, you'd be fucking surprised, dude. So, I, I was like, uh, <clears throat> that's how I learned this stuff, right? I picked it up and I was open to learning and improving, right? I have this awesome vision of myself. Regardless of whether people think it's realistic or not, I know that I'm getting it fucking no and i'm on fucking track to it that's why i do these amazing things people are like dude how the fuck did you do that wow we didn't even know that that's possible if this stuff you didn't even know that this stuff was possible dude of course you don't know that this stuff is fucking possible because ah that's my self-belief okay you have the same self-belief in yourself about whatever it is the good stuff that you want to achieve that's beneficial to you and to others and i'm doing this in a loving way okay i'm fucking ranting <laughs> but it's still beneficial okay to both of us so anyways So I'm like here, chilling, talking with Brom. And I remember I was saying something like, I was talking with someone, I was like, um, yo, yeah. You know Stellenbosch and Paul and like Wellington? They're like, like, like Paul and Wellington, it's like the, the cousins, they're like the nephews of like Stellenbosch. You know what I'm saying? They just look like family members. Like I'll be talking about this and it's like hilarious, like just my, it's interesting, unique, not really polarizing, sometimes maybe, but like, it's so different, okay? And it's me expressing my view on it and stuff. And like girls will turn around like, look, who the fuck is this guy? Who is, who's talking? Like, who is this dude? And they turn and they look at me and I've got the attention on me while I'm talking to a dude, okay? So, um, things like that, right? Like taking the small action allows you to learn these awesome things like this. Um, uh, and you're paying attention and you're learning, okay? So, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, take that small, easy action okay take it do it counts it helps it fucking benefits you with the mindset of improving and of learning and of reflecting on it and if you can find someone to talk to about it um that's awesome and i recommend like affirmations and things because they give you like a direction a the teleological advantage i'm not sure who spoke about that um but the teleological advantage okay maybe dr maxwell maltz but by having these affirmations of the man you want to be, that you choose to be, like saying, I am a, I am super confident. I am a super confident, mesmerizing young man. That's one of mine, right? I'm a super confident, mesmerizing young man. That's like one of my things I wrote in my book. And these things are so simple, right? You write them down. These awesome things that you want to create in yourself. And then when you're going out in your subconscious mind, it's there. And you're going to be, your focus is going to be tuned into that. And then even if you're not consciously learning it, you're going to be picking it up and downloading the data. And you're going to become... Be becoming more of this person that you're reading about, um, that you're reading that you are, right? Programming it to yourself. So have that um, and take the small action, okay? And get better at it in a fun, easy way, okay? Fun and easy is good. That's the way nature fucking designed us, okay? Not designed us. It's our choice how we want to be. Free will, okay? Free will. I don't want to get into philosophy and shit right, right now, but... <laughs> Um, 
yeah, I was gonna say Socrates was homosexual, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> any fucking way. So yeah, and I was like joking, joking with the joking with the team. Like I already mentioned that stuff. So guys, take small, easy, fun action. Okay, take that stuff. Do it as much as you can. Fill your day with it. Get into flow state. Like stack them. Okay, enjoy it. Build the momentum while it's easy for you. While you've got it, like do it, man. Do it, bro. Do it. Okay, take massive action, massive action. And even that stuff, over time, that builds up and becomes a massive action, massive action. And when you look back on the month, you're like, yo, all that small action that I took, dude, that was some massive action, massive motivation. Okay, that is huge. Okay, um, and then that gives you the muscle to take more massive action where you're doing these big things. And like, if you're doing it throughout the whole fucking day, that is a massive action right there. Okay. Um, it's building up your muscles, okay? Um, when you step into a gym for the first time, I'm going to go just now, but when you step into a gym for the first time or whatever, you don't need to start lifting the biggest fucking weights you can find. No. Start with that small stuff, okay? Learn from uh, learn from stuff. Find stuff that's useful for you, okay? Start with pull-ups, with push-ups, whatever the fuck, okay? And then you build up as your muscles get bigger and stronger. And the same way, you don't need to go like fucking... What's it called? D-lining, B-lining to a girl, like fucking straight head on cold approaching. You don't have to do that stuff. You don't have to do that stuff. You can get girls to approach you. Like I got that girl to fucking reach a hand out to me. Okay. I got groups to fucking start talking to me without me really approaching them. Okay. You get what I'm saying? You don't have to do this approach, 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 approach. No, you don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can always do what you want. Okay. You always have freedom. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so <laughs> Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlsChase.com. I'll see you guys. And remember, go fuck yourself. Vroom, vroom, vroom. It's your brother Paul, aka Peter Pan, aka Handsome Sex God. Love you guys. Vroom, vroom. Keep taking that small action. Take that massive action, ma massive action, massive motivation. That's what it's gonna be. Okay. Um, and vroom, vroom. See you guys.